Hi everyone, I hope you are having a lovely day so far. Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute upper body at home Pilates workout. I am going to add in ankle weights today just to level this up slightly. If you don't have ankle weights but you have hand weights or you have water bottles, tins, cans, whatever it is that you have lying around, if you want to add those in just to add a little bit of resistance you can. However, if you don't have anything or if you just don't want to use anything today that is absolutely fine, you can do this whole thing just using your own body weights. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mats and we will get started. So coming down into a seated position in the middle of your mat to start with. Just crossing your legs, sitting up nice and tall. If you are new to these classes, I always like to start each class with breath work, just connecting our mind and our bodies together, just becoming really present on the mat, just switching off from everyday life and just becoming really present within our bodies. So you're just gonna sit up nice and tall for me, really lengthen out through the crown of your head, nice tall spine, and then softly close down your eyes. So taking a big deep breath in through the nose for me. And then exhaling out through the mouth. Again, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out through the mouth. As you breathe in, try and breathe into the side of your ribs instead of into your belly. So if you need to, you can place your hands on your ribs. Take a big deep breath in, opening up through the rib cage. And then as you exhale out through the mouth, imagine that you're breathing out through a straw. Again, big deep breath in. And exhale. Just becoming really present within your body. On this next deep breath in, take a big deep breath in, hold it at the top. And as you breathe out, this time start to draw your belly button back towards your spine, start connecting into your center. We'll do four more like this together. Big deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth, draw the belly button back towards your spine, start to connect into your center, switching on your abs. We're gonna layer on again, inhale. And as you breathe out, pull your belly button back. This time start to switch your pelvic floor on. So pull up through your pelvic floor as you pull your belly button back, connecting deep into your center. Last one, big deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth, draw your belly button back towards your spine, pull up through your pelvic floor, feeling your abs switching on. And then slowly opening the eyes. We're going to get started straight away. So if you are using hand weight, ankle weights, whatever it is that you have, you're going to grab them now. Because I have my ankle weights, I'm just going to thread my hands through the middle. And then you're going to pop up onto your knees. I'm just going to stay down like this for now. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat has gone. I was going to say like this for now, however, if you want to pop yourself all the way up, you can do. So just gluing your elbows into your waist to start with, hands come out in front of you, palms to the ceiling. Still focus on that core connection. So this whole entire time, yes, we're working into the upper body, but I still want you to focus on your core and connecting deep into your center. So pulling your belly button back, make sure that your ribs are sliding down towards your hips. You're not flaring through your ribs. Slide everything down, hold really tight within your center. We're just gonna start, you're just gonna open the hands out and draw them back in. So extend the arms long then squeeze the elbows back in keep your shoulders away from your ears for me so try not to lift the shoulders up as you bring the hands up keep the shoulders down and if i spin to the side try not to open up through your ribs so i don't want to see anybody flaring through their ribs keep everything in together pull your belly button back Really lengthen out through your fingertips if you can, unless you're holding on to something. If you're just doing this with your own body weight, really lengthen out through the fingertips. Find that length and space. Four more. You got it, guys. Keep going. For three. 
two on this last one, just hold the arms out for me. You're gonna flip the palms to face each other now. You're gonna open out and bring the hands back in. Soft bend through the elbows, open out. Again, try not to go through into your ribs. Keep everything knitted in, nice strong core, bring the hands together. So you open, squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back and then draw the hands back in. Try and keep your hands at shoulder height this whole time. Try not to drop them down too low. You want to keep them nice and high. It's only a quick and effective 20 minute workout. So give it your all. Don't just go through the motions of each exercise. Be really mindful about your form and your technique so that you get the most out of each exercise. Three more. For two, on this last one, you're just gonna open out halfway so your hands are to a diagonal. You're gonna give me tiny circles forward. If you are using hand weights or ankle weights, they already start to feel so heavy. Keep powering through though. When it's challenging, that's when it's changing. <laughs> so just smile through the burn. Go through the movement with control. Hold your core nice and strong. Five more, then we reverse. For four, three, two, one, and reverse. Eight more, then we'll take a break. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop those arms down, take a second. Shake the shoulders out if you need to. Okay, from here, you're gonna open the arms out to the side, close them down, then you're gonna open the arms to the front, come down. So arms come out to the side first, lift through the elbows, lower down, lift up, lower down. As you lift the arms up, try and lift up through your elbows. So don't just go through the motions of just lifting the hands up and down. You're not gonna feel it at all. I want to lift up through the elbows. Imagine that you're moving through honey, adding that resistance on with your own body weight, even if you have the ankle weights or hand weights, whatever it is that you have. Four more. For three. Two, last one. This time you're gonna lift the hands out to the side. You're gonna bring your elbows in and then you're gonna flip the palms to the mat as you extend the arms out. So you bring the elbows in, flip the palms as you come up, flip the palms to the ceiling as you come in, squeeze your elbows into your waist, extend. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Nice tall spine. Connect into your center. Five more. Squeeze into your waist. For four. You got it, guys. Keep it going. For three. Two. Last one. Only open halfway. Keep your palms flipped to the ceiling. Just give me tiny little lifts. Up and up. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You got it. Three two, one, and take a second, drop those shoulders down. Okay, last thing with the hand weight, and then we're gonna go into a quick side plank series. But for now, hands come up, flip your palms to the floor. You're gonna give me tiny circles. You got it, guys, keep powering through. I'm right here with you, my shoulders are also burning. Try and keep your core nice and strong. Everything is knitted in together. 10 more, then we reverse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you got it. Three, two, one, and reverse. Keep those hands lifted. Make sure that your hands are at shoulder height. You got it. 10 more for nine, eight, seven, six, Five, smile through it for four, three, two, one, and then 
drop those arms down, roll your shoulders out if you need to. Now you're just gonna place one of the hand weights, angle weights, whatever it is that you have down, and then you're gonna come into a side plank for me. So I'm gonna come down onto my left forearm to start with. And then your, you can stay down on your knees if you like, or you can come into a full side plank. I'm gonna stay down on my knees for now. That hand weight is gonna come into your right hand. Again, I'm gonna keep mine hooked around my hand because it's my ankle weight. I'm gonna lift your hips up, hand comes to the ceiling. You're just gonna hold in your side plank here. Try and make sure that you're not dropping your hips back. Keep them stacked on top of each other, hand comes to the ceiling. Just hold it here for me, hold for 10, nine, pull your belly button in for seven, six, five you got it for three two one hold this time you're going to lower the hips down you're going to lower the hand down in front of you and lift inhale to lower exhale lift just eight more seven try not to drop the hips all the way down as you come down you just want to lower down don't touch the mat and lift four more for three, two, last one, hold it there, hand comes behind your head. You're gonna bring your elbow down, twist through your body, and then open back to center. So you just bring that elbow down to me, your opposite hand, twist through your spine, and open. Just five more. For four, three, Two, keep your hips lifted. Last one. And drop it down, take a second. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so coming up and round. That weight is gonna come into your left hand this time. Coming down onto your right forearm. You're gonna stay either down on your knees or come into your full side plank. You're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling, hand comes up. Just hold here, we hold for 10, nine. Lift up through your ribs, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. This time you lower the hips down, lower that hand down in front of you, and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale to lift. Try and make sure that your shoulder is in line with your elbow so if you need to bring your hand in a bit you can focus on your form and your technique five more for four stack those hips for three two last one hold hand comes behind your head you're going to twist through your body and open Bring that elbow down, twist, and open. You got it, five more. For four, really getting into our shoulders. For three. Two. Last one. And then lower all the way down, good work. Place those weights to one side now, we're not gonna need them anymore. I'm gonna go into a bit of a plank series to finish. So you're gonna come onto all fours to start with. We'll just take a few cat cows. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Take an inhale, open up through the chest. And then exhale, round through the spine. Again, inhale, open. And exhale, round. One more, inhale. And then exhale. And then finding that neutral position. From here, you're gonna either step back into a full plank. So stepping yourself all the way up, or option, drop down to your knees, bring your hips forward slightly, come into your low plank or your modified plank. Choose your option. From here, we're gonna go into shoulder taps. So you're gonna tap your right hand to your left shoulder, tap it down. Left hand to right shoulder, tap it down. Same thing if you're down on your knees. 
choose your option. Hold your core nice and strong, whichever option you're taking. Try not to twist your hips from side to side. Try and hold your core really nice and strong. Hips are still. If you need to, you can bring your feet slightly wider than hip distance apart to help you stabilize. You got it guys, just four more. For three, use your breath to help you for two. Last one, hold it here. Everybody come up into your high plank now. You're gonna tap your right knee down. Lift, tap your left knee down and lift. If this really is too much and you have sore knees, stay down in that low plank. Give me those shoulder taps again. You got it. Four more. For three, two, one, hold. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Drop those knees down, sit back into a child's pose. Take a second. Not long left to go, guys. Keep going. From here, you're gonna ripple forward. You're gonna come back into that plank position. Again, everybody come up into that plank position in your full plank. From here, we're gonna go into a bit of a combo. So you're gonna send your hips up to the ceiling, pike your hips up. You're gonna come forward, drop the knees down, give me a tricep push up. Lift up, pike the hips up. Come forward, drop the knees down, tricep push up. Option here, again, if you find that the tricep push up is too much, come into your box position. You give me a tricep push up and then push yourself back up. So you just come into that box position, tap the elbows down, lift, send the hips up, lower down. Choose your option. You got it guys, four more. The three, nice strong core. Firing those triceps to finish for three. Two. You got it, last one. And then sit yourself back into a child's pose. Take a big deep breath in. And breathing out. Okay, so last thing here is you're going to lower yourself all the way down to the mat. I'm actually going to flip myself around because I'm going to hit the wall if not. But coming though all the way down onto your front, last thing here, your hands are going to come in front of you, stacking them on top of each other. Place your head down in your hands. I'm just going to stay lifted for now just so the microphone doesn't hit the mat. Also, I apologise if you can hear the dogs in the background. Your feet are going to be parallel hip distance apart. If you do have tight hips, you can bring your feet out to the edge of your mat, turn your heels inwards, just to release any pressure. From here, you're gonna take an inhale, you're gonna lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower down. Keeping your forehead in your hands, you just lift your elbows up and then really slowly lower down. If this feels good, you can stay here or option. As you lift up, you bring your elbows into your waist. As you lower your hands, come down in front of you. So lift, bring the elbows in, bring the hands down as you come down. You got it guys, just four more. For three, two, last one. Everyone bring their elbows into their waist now. Hands down by your side. You're gonna flip your palms round and then flip your palms to the ceiling. You're just gonna give me tiny little lifts up and up. This is your last thing. Keep your chest lifted, building a nice strong back. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, bring your hands in onto your forehead and then lower down, 
hands come underneath your shoulders send your hips back just release your lower back just swaying from side to side here and then bring both hands over to the right stack your left hand on top push your left sit bone down into your heels feeling that nice stretch in opposition here And then bring both your hands over to the left, stack your right hand on top, push your right sit bone down into your heel, feeling that nice stretch through the side of the body. And then bring your hands back to centre, really slowly just walking your hands up towards your knees, really slowly ripple your spine all the way up. Just bring your hands behind your back for me. Interlink your hands behind your back. And then you're gonna stretch open through your chest. Looking to the diagonal. Try and lift your hands up slightly higher if you can. And then release, just roll your shoulders out. And then forwards. And then coming into a seated position in the middle of your mat, we will finish as we started. So just in that seated position, hands down on your knees, just roll your shoulders back a few times, sitting up nice and tall. And then roll your shoulders forwards. And then slowly close down the eyes just for a second, slowing down your breath. So coming back into that mind to body connection, breathing in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last one, biggest breath you've taken all day, feeling all the beautiful benefits of today's class. And then exhale. And then when you're ready, slowly opening the eyes. We'll take one last deep breath together as always. So take a big deep breath in, lifting the hands up overhead, breathing in all that positive energy from today's class. Hands come together. And then exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. And guys, that is your at home upper body Pilates workout all done. Amazing work today. I really hope you enjoyed this workout. It was definitely a strong one, but hopefully you feel really good after it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe so that we can work out together again. And I will see you on the mat again very soon. <laughs>